Um, why don't we dive into a little bit more about that and like why why do our calorie I should say why why do our protein needs go up uh, when we are in a calorie deficit versus when we're maintaining, let's say? I would say it's less that protein needs per se go up, but the importance of hitting your daily protein requirements becomes more important. So you don't really, that's interesting. Um, I've, and the, the, it always seems. Yeah. The research yeah. is fairly clear on this. If you take the average person with the goal of losing body weight and maintaining lean body mass, if you consume 0.7 to one gram per pound or somewhere around 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram per day, going from the low end to the high end when you're in a calorie deficit is not really going to change your body composition outcomes. Now, if you go from 0.4 grams per day to one gram per day while you're in a deficit, you're that's going to be much more beneficial. And it really comes down to, like we talked about earlier, your protein needs are based on body mass size and activity. And so if you're consuming just to keep the numbers easy around a gram per pound and you go into a calorie deficit, you're already getting enough protein that you're kind of maximizing your body's ability to maintain and repair tissue in the context of a calorie deficit. What happens is if you are in a already low to moderate protein, you know, diet slash intake, like let's say you have, let's say you're consuming 0.5 grams per pound and your weight stable, you're consuming around 2000 calories a day. So you're consuming, let's just call it 400 calories a day from protein. Well, now you go to a thousand calories a day. You now have only 600 calories coming in from carbohydrates and fats in your body. That's probably not going to be enough to replace, especially if you're act active, it's not going to be enough to replace all of the glucose needs. So your body's going to start using some of the protein that's already low in your diet to cover the glucose needs. So now the effective protein that you're using for structure function, is probably closer to 0.3 grams per day. So it's more of, you just need to be in that optimal window as often as you can. And being in that window becomes more important when you're in a deficit than when you're not. I think that, that, that explanation makes total sense. I think that's a, that, you know, hearing you explain it that way is, is much more, uh, it seems much more reasonable.